Sorry, I was checking Instagram. So, I heard you're interested in Instagram data. If so, I'm going to teach you how to get raw data from Instagram in this video, just like this. If you're technical, you probably started looking for an official Instagram API that you could use with a token or with your own account to get data publicly available. Sort of like how Twitter has a really nice API that lets you get public data. So you've probably Googled around and came across this web page that shows you, hey, guess what? This used to be an API thing and now it's no longer a thing. Instagram pulled this old API right around the Cambridge Analytica scandal time. Must have just been a coincidence. And they direct you to a new API, which if you follow the link is only for businesses and barely lets you get any public data from the platform. So if you're not a business and or you just want to get public data from Instagram, which shouldn't be too hard, neither of these APIs are going to work for you. But there has to be some way to get data from Instagram. Look at all these companies willing to sell you fake followers or scrape data for you and give it to you in CSV format. There's some way that these companies are able to get into Instagram and get this data. And we're going to find out how. If we add the word GitHub to our Google search for an Instagram API, our results start getting really interesting. We start seeing open source libraries with almost thousands of likes and stars telling you how to get into the internal secret API that Instagram offers. When you download the Instagram app to your phone, the app has instructions to use the public internet to send and receive data to and from Instagram, getting data back and forth to show you on the app. The open source software I'm linking to shows you exactly how those calls are made that were uncovered by the public app that Instagram ships to your device. The app that uses the bandwidth that you have to pay for at the end of every month. So if you use some of these open source libraries, it's basically like you're using the app on your phone, but your computer is actually replaying the network calls that your phone makes to and from Instagram to intercept the raw data that Instagram is sending on your behalf, on your bandwidth dime, to and from your phone. So what this open source software shows us is that yes, Instagram clearly has a very easy way to send and receive data via API, but they choose not to make it available to the general public. Meaning it's probably against their terms of service to use these endpoints. Now I'm no lawyer, but I know very few people would even think about violating a company's terms of service. It would be like breaking the speed limit. You know, we just don't want to mess with that sort of thing. So then, how do you get data from Instagram without violating their terms of service? Well, I've invented a foolproof way, and you only need three things. A pen, a pad of paper, and your phone. So I'm interested in knowing if there's a correlation between the number of posts someone has made on Instagram and the number of followers they have. So I'm going to go to the Explore tab here. And I'm going to look at each post one by one. And I'm going to look at the author. I'm going to write down the number of posts, 533, and how many followers they have, 2297. And I'll go to the next author. OK. So 566 posts and 10.1K. So you just keep writing them down uh, on your notebook. And when you're done, just enter them into a spreadsheet. And then you'll have the data in CSV format. So I went and did that 50,000 times. I uh, had to buy a couple new ink cartridges. And then I was able to make a really cool graphic like this. Now, just for fun, I thought it would be cool to aggregate all of the different endpoints from the open source software that refers to how your phone and Instagram communicate into a single web page, just for reference. So it's right over here. I have a link to it below. This page also has links to the open source software and some of the other links and topics we talked about. But you know, it's a real shame that these URLs aren't official API URLs. Because if they were, you could use them on the Steve C data platform to automatically collect, aggregate, filter, and automate all of the collection procedures 
you would have to otherwise write custom code for when using a typical API. You could process literally millions of followers and posts and get all sorts of contact details without knowing any code and just hitting a few buttons. So what other data would you hypothetically like to see from a theoretical Instagram API if one were officially available? Let me know in the comments below. Um, in the meantime, I'm gonna get back to my Instagram data collection. I've got a lot more posts to go through. Okay, 382, 187, 